This is a video of a app that's called the Neuralink app. It's free. It can be downloaded from the internet for smartphones such as the iPhone and the Android smartphone. I'm just going to demonstrate it now. When just once they, after they download it, you um, click to begin your. This is the introductory screen linking symptoms to brain networks for Neuralink. I'm going to click continue. And now uh, at this screen, uh, we can take a series of tests, uh, self uh, assessment questionnaire that, that I'll show in a moment. And then we can also link the, the uh, patient or the individual who may have uh, mental issues to a clinician through the maps in the lower part of this screen. And one can also review previous results. For now, let's look at one of the tests. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is uh, the general survey that has uh, it looks at a variety of different symptoms from uh, depression to anxiety to attention problems to addiction, a lot of them, and I'll show that in a minute. Uh, in addition, there are, are uh, the special questionnaires you can fill out for pain, alexithymia. Alexithymia is an inability to recognize emotion in other people's faces and uh, gestures autism spectrum disorder, early dementia, concussion, Parkinson's disorder, the coronavirus, this is new, it allows us to, at, at home, but people have symptoms, temperature, uh, and dryness of cough, et cetera, they can um, uh, click their self-report questionnaire on that. Also, we have suicide and depression, which today is important uh, as we go through the issues of the coronavirus and the stresses that we're uh, all experiencing. So I'm uh, clicking the uh, general survey. You have a screen to uh, describe what it is uh, and uh, it, it introduces you to it. The first one that comes up is I have cravings for alcohol or drugs. Uh, I am easily distracted. Uh, people usually have to repeat words to me. Let's say I have blurred vision. I have chronic pain. I have to, I need to repeat acts and thoughts. Uh, so I'm just going to go through these. I have problems concentrating, and I'm just going to randomly click them. But if you're serious about it, you'll um, patients and or individuals will pay attention to this and uh, will uh, honestly answer the questions that are before them. Because the idea, idea here is to self-assess the severity of symptoms, that you can then evaluate changes should there be treatments or just spontaneously over time, and there's a radar map so you can see what that is. You can send your uh, uh, survey to a clinician if you want. You go back. I'm now just going to proceed. Uh, it's calculating the severity scores. And for example, uh, let's say here's the depression network. I'm going to just look at that. Uh, this allows you to evaluate the depression network. This, all of these networks are based upon PET scans, functional MRI, SPEC scans, EEG, and MEG as published in the uh, National Library of Medicine, uh, developed over uh, several decades by, at the National Institutes of Health. Here I can remove the cortex, just look at the network. Uh, and uh, worldwide, uh, in the 1990s with the Human Brain Mapping Program, $2 billion went into the evaluation of uh, uh, brain networks and the PET scans, functional MRI. We came up with a common coordinate system so that EEG, MEG, uh, image the same uh, within the same common coordinate system when there's dysregulation in these hubs and the connections between the hubs. We're going to look at here's the attention network. Uh, I'll move this down so we can see it. Get rid of the cortex. Uh, here's the uh, memory network. It's yellow because it's moderate. Uh, here's the pain network. Uh, the social network, anxiety network, addiction network, etc. So this gives you an, uh, at least somebody who fills it out, uh, honestly, uh, an evaluation of the severity of the symptoms as they link to the um, networks of the brain. We can then look at the history. For example, if you take multiple tests over time, you can see how your symptom severity has changed over time, and hopefully 
uh, this information is valuable to a clinician and to the individual, whether they see a clinician or not, to see how these various aspects of their mental health are moving towards the center of this radar map. And for each of these networks, uh, there's information that you can find about uh, the science uh, that uh, is behind these networks. It's all published science. And you can do a, a, a Google search, or you can do a search of the National Library of Medicine under PubMed for any of these networks, and you can see a vast scientific literature. So I'm now uh, going to move over to another one that's of interest here, um, and, and primarily one of depression alone, let's see, and, um, uh, and then we can evaluate the depression network. Um, we can also take a questionnaire. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning so we can restart. And on uh, suicide, a very severe form of depression. For example, I have, or have you ever thought about or attempted to kill yourself? Let's say I've attempted to kill myself, but did not want to die. How often have you thought about killing yourself in the past? So I'm just going to fill these out just quickly, just to show uh, what this questionnaire will reveal. And uh, it's in the severe area, not good. Here's the depression network. And then we can evaluate the history on this radar map. So maybe it's severe initially, and now it's going down to moderate. Uh, I haven't organized these, but one can see over time, one, two, three, four, five, as you re uh, repeat this test or this self-assessment uh, questionnaire, uh, the severity of her symptoms. And then you can uh, look at what this means. You can go back to the main page, you can uh, click the to select a, a clinician. Let's say you're located in Nevada. Uh, we will have uh, clinicians uh, and providers who will uh, be participate uh, as subscribers to these uh, maps. So an individual can get connected to an expert who can then communicate with the patient who may have uh, mental problems. And, uh, uh, and help them out. Uh, they can do that remotely. Now with this coronavirus, it's important to do remote uh, evaluations and assessment or bring them into their office, uh, treat them uh, whatever uh, methods are uh, available from psychotherapy to uh, uh, brain stimulation, such as RTMS, that's uh, high intensity magnetic stimulation of the depression network. Uh, medications or uh, milder forms of electrical and magnetic stimulation of the uh, depression network and wherever you may live and get connected to clinicians. So that's the purpose of this um, app is to get connected to clinicians. The clinicians then clinicians then arrange to measure your EEG to evaluate the three-dimensional hubs and connections between hubs linked to particular symptoms and then to be able to uh, treat that patient uh, and evaluate the progress of the patient as the severity of the uh, symptoms uh, is reduced. So there's uh, early dementia, concussion, Parkinson's, etc., including coronavirus, um, where you're looking here at the, I'll say none, no, say mild, moderate, mild, general body aches, moderate, shortness of breath, severe. I was in a group of people two weeks ago. I have a history of respiratory problems. I have a history of diabetes, a history of heart problems, a history of kidney problems. You proceed and it gives you a rough idea. If you have a moderate severity of the coronavirus, symptoms and then you can evaluate with the radar map how those symptoms change with time and provide this information to the clinician so that clinicians can help an individual who may have symptoms of coronavirus but they're not as severe uh, or they are severe and then action can be taken. So this is a example of an app uh, that goes to a main program called uh, Neuralink which connects to uh, Neural Guide, 
That's a, a, a software program that images the brain in three dimensions and allows one to treat patients by uh, biofeedback or evaluate the efficacy of medications or brain stimulation or psychotherapy or whatever for any given uh, symptom category. So thank you for watching.